Bill Maher was asked about Andrew Yang's forward party in a recent overtime segment, and like all of us, he doesn't actually believe that this will be a successful endeavor. However, he does think that this party could have a particular effect, specifically on the Democratic Party, which he believes would be good. What is he talking about here? Well, uh, let's watch what he has to say in the following clip, and when we come back, I will explain to you why he's completely delusional. Joe Biden's not a radical. I mean, he's not, he's just not, and he was put forward as a Democratic nominee precisely because- but he bends it to the radical. He, he has bent, yes, and I think that's part, of, that's part of what's been a problem from his president is that he's raised these expectations. You could have a, like a sensible middle party, and it would then, what, what would happen is it would force the Democrats to go back to being the sensible middle part. And they would, because they would see that's where, you know, Biden, I mean, Biden reminds me of some grandfather, and when, when AOC and the woke people come into his office, and pretty, he, just, he just goes along. He doesn't really understand it. It's like, Grandpa, can we have money to go play Fortnite? And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and he's like, For, uh, he just, <laughs> just, just, I don't even know where to begin with that one. Yes, Bill Maher is out of touch, but we're not just witnessing somebody who is out of touch. This is now bordering on delusional territory. And I'm, I'm serious about that because to say that Biden caters to the whims of the left and bends to their needs, it's so wrong, it's so demonstrably untrue that it might actually be borderline delusional because that's just not happening. Who is it that wrote the Manchin-Schumer legislation? It's in the name. It's not the Sanders-Schumer legislation. It's not even the Warren-Schumer legislation. It is the Manchin-Schumer legislation. Joe Biden is quite literally letting a modern-day coal baron whose family owns Enter Systems, a coal company, dictate the terms of climate policy. Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema sabotaged Joe Biden's entire agenda, and they were so desperate to get something accomplished with regard to climate change just so they can tell the base that they're doing something that they told Joe Manchin just to give us anything and we'll support it. And that's what happened. Joe Manchin is proposing climate change legislation that has a lot of good provisions, but it also has a lot of giveaways to the fossil fuel industry, a lot of pork to his donors in the oil and gas industry. And we don't even know if that will go through because Kirsten Sinema might tank it because there are provisions within that legislation that increases taxes on corporations and the wealthy. So when we're in this situation where the Democratic Party is caving to everything that Joe Manchin wants and he refuses to even call him out, you still have the audacity to say that Biden is caving to the left? How? I mean, that's the question that we're all asking, right? When we watch him say, say that stuff. How? How is he caving to the left? And we don't really know because Bill Maher never gives us a specific example. But Sam Stein alluded to Build Back Better being evidence that Biden is caving to the left, which is absurd because Build Back Better was Biden's agenda. It was incrementalist reforms that the progressive movement, people like Bernie Sanders, supported because it was all that we could get with a right wing president like Joe Biden. But we didn't even get that because Biden caved to Manchin and Sinema. He didn't fight them hard enough. Now, Build Back Better, it improves, it includes good things, right? Expanding Medicare to include dental, hearing, vision, universal pre-K. But the left, they wanted to go further. They wanted healthcare to be free at the point of service. They wanted Medicare for all. They wanted a lot more than what Biden was offering. But that was all that they could get, so they supported it. But even Biden's moderate agenda was too far for individuals like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. But yet you claim that it's the left who Biden is uh, bending to. The left always gets what they want. Well, if that were true, wouldn't it be the case that the left was enthusiastic about Biden? Wouldn't it be the case that young people, disproportionately left-leaning individuals, were enthusiastic about Joe Biden? I don't think anyone is satisfied with Joe Biden. 75% of Democratic Party voters want someone else to run in 2024. So I, I just, I don't know what Bill Maher is talking about. To say that he's talking out of his ass would be too charitable because what he's saying is complete nonsense. So he says that um, if you had a sensible middle party like the forward party, it would force Democrats to go back to being the sensible middle party. How are they not already a middle party? If you compare them to other parties around the world, they don't look like modern social democratic parties that you see in Europe and Scandinavia. They look like right-wing parties in Europe and Scandinavia. They look like the Tories.
they look like more conservative parties because the Democratic Party is inherently conservative because they are a pro-capitalist party. We don't have a real alternative in the United States. They don't offer voters an anti-capitalist pro-worker option. So to pretend as if the left has any power at all is just a joke. And, you know, um, Bill Maher, he used an analogy about Biden being like a grandpa. He said, Biden reminds me of some grandfather. And when AOC and the woke people come in his office, he just goes along. He doesn't really understand it. Oh, OK. Is that, is that the case? Well, there's actually um, a situation like this in real life where AOC and the woke people got a couple of seconds with Joe Biden. And she shared this photograph to her timeline where she says that she explained to him why student loan forgiveness is necessary. Now, perhaps in Bill Maher's alternate timeline, this has happened where Biden has canceled all student debt. But where we're all living, the rest of us, he still hasn't done that. Back in April, he said a decision on student loans was coming in weeks, and now it's August 1st. Then in July, he announced again that a decision was coming in a few weeks. Now, perhaps this time we might actually hear something in a couple of weeks because the due date for student loan repayments are coming up. But I mean, is he going to forgive all student loans as AOC requested? No, he already stated he's not doing that. He won't even cancel 50000 We don't even know if he's going to say that he's canceling 10000 when he announces his plans in the coming weeks, if he even does that. Odds are he'll just postpone student loan repayments until after the election, kick the can down the road. So what Bill Maher is saying, even the analogy that he uses, there is an example of that in real life, and it hasn't borne out. It's just, I, I can't help but laugh because Bill Maher isn't even living in reality anymore. He's as out of touch as QAnon supporters. Like this might, must be like liberal QAnon for him. It's not as diluted, but still it is an alternate form of reality. It's just, it's so untrue that you can't really respond to it with facts because somebody that far gone, they just, they're not going to listen to you. The problem isn't that Joe Biden is too far left. The problem is is that he isn't left enough. When Joe Biden was actually delivering for the American people, he had a higher approval rating. When they had the child tax credit, giving money to families, his approval rating was higher. When he distributed checks, his approval rating was higher. And now, nobody's satisfied with him. He hasn't even done the bare minimum. He said he'd fight for voting rights. He hasn't done that. This is something that all Democrats agree on, the left and the centers, and the centrists, rather, in the Democratic Party. I mean, when it comes to Roe, nobody's happy with his handling of this. He's not putting abortion clinics on federal land. And this is an issue that unites the Democratic Party, but Biden still managed to fuck that up somehow. I mean, when it comes to student debt cancellation, descheduling marijuana, Biden has been MIA when it comes to him mismanaging COVID-19, starving Afghanistan, using Trump-era immigration policies to deport immigrants, cruelly so, how can you say that this man is caving to radicals? To say that, you've got to be a fucking dipshit. And his show keeps getting renewed. So the question is, like, who's watching this and enjoying it? There's enough viewers, obviously, for HBO to keep renewing it. So this caters to someone. But which demographic is, is this appealing to? I mean, he shifted to the right. So is it just all Republicans? Do centrist Democrats still enjoy this? Who is this for? Because it's it's delusional. It's for delusional people at this point for him to say things just like that. That's not to say that Bill Maher gets it wrong 100% of the time. But I mean, with the things that he said lately, when he misses... Jesus Christ, does he miss? It's just he keeps further embarrassing himself, and I don't even know what to say, but this isn't really surprising if you've been following Bill Maher. As he gets gets more out of touch, he continues to shift further and further into delusional territory, and as he continues to do that, then I'm assuming the quality of his show will continue to degrade. So, yeah, Bill Maher thinks that Biden is caving to the left. It feels like he's joking. Like, it's so stupid if I just read that and I didn't know who said that quote, I think it was a joke, but Bill Maher is dead serious. And that's just, that's just laughable. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralists, woke moralists, woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.